guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa and I am the youthful mama so today I want to share with you a tutorial on how to contour with cream products you can contour with powder if you like but this is just the way that I prefer to contour my face I normally contour a little bit through the day for an everyday look if I'm going out and I want to look more glamorous then I'll go a little heavier with the contour don't forget to always set your contour if you use a cream so use a bronzer to, uh, to set the powder uh, to set the cream sorry and um, and yeah let me know what you guys think and um, and what you want to see in the next video but this is going to be just purely on contouring the face so, so for today's foundation I'm going to go in with Giorgio Armani's luminous silk foundation now I don't have a damp beauty blender so I'm just going to spray a little bit of Mac uh, fix plus on there and I'm just going to apply that all over Now to conceal, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Weightless Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just going to apply that wherever I want to conceal. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender again to blend that all out. And now I'm going to highlight my face with MAC Prep and Prime highlight, Highlighter in the colour Light Boost. And I'm only going to do this today because I'm doing a contouring tutorial. Otherwise, I wouldn't really bother doing it, you know, in my everyday makeup routine. I might do it if it was like a, a special event and I was, you know, going crazy with makeup. But every day I wouldn't bother doing it. We just want the contour to stand out a lot. So what I do is... I'll zoom in. So I really want my jawline to be light. So I'm going to do two lines. And it's just a little twist of the pen. And I really want it to be light here. I hate wasting products so I don't tend to twist the pen too much. I do that with all the products that I buy, like I hate it when too much comes out, it really annoys me. So the reason why I went in with a concealer first is because a, a concealer is um, just a heavy coverage whereas uh, this light boost prep and prime highlighter is just a highlighter so it's it's quite thin and it's not heavy duty like a concealer is I notice that um, a lot of people will bake this area to highlight it highlight it so they'll bake it with you know like Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder or they might just use a really light powder Okay, let's talk about contouring. There are two options, obviously powder or cream. Some people like both and obviously some people will only ever use powder. They say that it's easier to blend and other people only like cream because they say that it's easier to blend. I have done both and I've done both for quite a long time. And if I had to choose, I would say cream is the best. Cream is easier to blend. Powder takes a lot more work. You literally have to keep going with the brush to maneuver that, to blend it out, to buff it out. Just like eyeshadow, you're spending a lot of time blending your eyelids, whereas cream, bang, you put it on, you you know, you get um, a brush or a beauty blender and you're done in, I don't know, maybe a minute, <laughs> depends on what part of the face you're doing. So in my personal opinion, it's faster and therefore easier. The other reason why I love to use cream products is because cream products make you look younger, powders make you look older. If you have wrinkles, try to avoid powder. Even when you're setting your face, use a setting, uh, a setting spray in between each layer of your makeup. So spray a prepping spray or mist, put your foundation, spray a setting, uh, a setting spray 
put your concealer, spray another setting spray, put your powder, spray, and spray again at the end. You've got to spray in between layers to kind of compact all the products in and get them to stay put all day if you are worried about your makeup fading and gliding off your face throughout the day. Whereas if you just pack on a lot of makeup and then the last thing you do is just pile on a ton of powder thinking, well, this is the only way I'm going to keep my makeup on all day, it's not going to work. I've had so many people complain about that, looking for the thickest, heaviest duty foundation they can possibly find. That's just not the trick. You just need to layer up your setting sprays. So I'll show you what I used to use. When I first started contouring, I bought this Kat Von D palette. I still love it. As you can see, I haven't hit pan on the palette. And that's because I discovered cream contouring not long after I purchased this. I will use this to bronze my face and I might use the lighter shades to set my concealer, but I don't contour with this palette anymore. But that's not to say it's not a great product. Still love it. However, I have discovered a few other products and one is a drugstore brand, NYX. It's a one stick and it comes in three different shades. It has the lighter shade, this is the uh, shade number three, which is the darker shade. So instead of using a foundation, if you're in a hurry, you can contour with the dark end and just do the highlighted areas with the lighter side. And then the darker side, which has been used and abused by me. This is still my first one. It's lasted me a really long time. I think it's lasted um, before Roman was born and Roman is now 10 months old. <laughs> So this is one of my favourites and it happens to be a drugstore brand. I don't think I've found anything as good. But for today's contouring tutorial, I'm going to use this one because it's just my favourite. Okay, so to contour the sides of my face, what I'm trying to do is make my, my face look thinner, like <laughs> like I'm sucking in my cheeks. So what I do is I start from the top of my ear and I draw a line to the corner of my mouth, but I don't go all the way down. If you go all the way down, you can look too withdrawn and it can look sickly on skinny people and it can also look like a drag queen style makeup. If you're going for the dramatic drag queen style, that's fine as long as your eyes and your lashes match. But we're going with an everyday glam kind of look. So I'm just going to start here where the hair is. Don't need to draw in my hair. And I'm going to draw a line towards my lips and I'm going to stop about halfway. The reason why I'm going to stop halfway is because we're going to blend the hell out of this line. So again, some people like to pull faces. <laughs> I'm not that kind, so I don't need to do this to get the line. I just aim for the top of my ear and go down towards my cheek and stop. Now, different face shapes will require a different line. If you have a long face and you're already quite slim, you can have a contour line that starts here and then curves so that it appears like you've got a larger uh, cheekbone. So if you don't have much of a cheek, you can create a cheek by just creating that shadow underneath your cheekbone. But as you can see when I smile, I have big cheeks. <laughs> I like to highlight my forehead. So I'll zoom out. Sorry guys, I just realised that you can't actually see my forehead. So draw however you like. You can draw one big line. And I like to create a shadow here. And just here near the temple we'll go ahead and just draw everything and to get rid of my mummy double chin that I got after having two kids and gaining a little bit of weight I'm going to draw a line not all the way from my ears but just from here can you see how um, this bit here has got no shadow I want it to look like like that so when I suck when I hold my breath it kind of tucks in and that's what I want. So I'm going to draw a little line from here to here and then blend it out to cover that double chin. 
I've noticed some people contour and put a little shadow here. You can do that if you want. I'm not a big fan. I'm not really fussed about doing that. And then also you can contour your nose. When it comes to contouring my nose, I don't usually use this just because I don't like the shape of it. You can get a little brush and put it on with your nose. Uh, put it on with the brush um, onto your nose. So I might actually do that instead. Okay, I've got you zoomed in again. And I'm just going to draw a thin line here. And I'm not going to draw the line too dark. Notice how I'm going dead straight over my nose. And you can join it from your brows, as long as you don't have a ridiculous amount of product on your brush. To create a shorter nose, all you need to do is put a little dark bit of concealer or the contouring stick that you're using and just shorten it like this. So that shadow below makes it look like I've got a shorter nose. And I'm just going to put a line here across. To blend it out, you can either use a buffing brush or a foundation brush, whichever will do the same job, so it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use this buffing brush, just because I'm used to using this brush, and I'm going to press on the contour, and then blend it up. Never blend it down. You don't want to darken any of this area down here. Just tap, and then blend up tap and blend up. Try not to blend too much, you don't want it to completely come off. When you get to about half the product, you feel like half the product is still on your face and the rest is on the brush, then you can leave it there and come back to it later if you feel like it's just too dark. You see how I'm just pressing? I'll zoom out guys because I just realised again that you're kind of going out. So I'm going back to this side now and I'm going to buff that out a bit more just to get rid of that harsh line. To buff out my nose, I'm going to use a Zoeva concealer buffing brush that just looks like that. So I have finished contouring my face with the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Deep number 3. As you can see, I didn't go too harsh with the sides. I've buffed it out. I've put a little bit over here around my forehead, a little bit around my nose to create a bit of a shadow, and a tiny little bit under my chin, uh, under my lip, and under my chin. To set my concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use a another Zoeva brush. It's just a highlighting brush, and the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So to set the highlighter, I'm going to use Laura Mercier's translucent powder on a beauty blender. So I'm just going to aim for the center of my ear to the corner of my mouth. And the reason why is because we started the contour at the top of the ear. So I'm just starting just here and drawing a straight line. looking good. So now to set where I have contoured, I'm going to use Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance a Baked Powder 
in the shade Bronze 03. And it just looks like this. And I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush. You can use as much bronzer as you actually want. This is just how I like to do it. You can use one with a bit of shimmer in it. You can use one that's matte. You can use a light bronzer. Just depends on how much you want it to stand out. But try not to forget to set where you have contoured. I guess that is the bonus part of contouring with powder and not cream because with powder you don't need to set it with another powder. Uh, to set where I have contoured around my nose I'm just going to use a smaller setting brush for the nose I would suggest avoiding anything that actually shimmers now for blush I'm going to use uh, a MAC blush this is in the shade Peach Peachy Keen I really wanted to use a cream blush today but I completely forgot and I started using powder on my face <laughs> it's too late now so I'm just going to aim to put the blush above where I have contoured so I'll just place it up here and now to highlight I'm going to use the Huda Beauty highlighter palette and this is in the shade bronze I believe I purchased it doesn't say what one I purchased I don't think yep bronze sand and this beautiful palette just looks like that so beautiful to highlight I'm going to use this color here the Maldives And I'm placing my highlighter above my blush. So I have highlighter, blush, um, bronzer, and then the setting powder where I highlighted. And now to brush away the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So just take a big clean brush and blend that in with the contouring powder or well, the bronzer. So that's all blended in nicely. You see how it creates a bit of a shadow? Okay, so I'm just going to finish up with my eyes and my lips and I'll be back. That's the end of the video guys. If you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to know what you guys think of this contouring video. Um, I don't go as dramatic as some people do. This is just me. Okay this is not for everyone. I may have gone a little heavy, heavier than some people would prefer and I may have gone a little lighter than some people would prefer but this is just me, it's how I wear my makeup, this is how I love to wear my makeup um, if you don't like it, too bad, maybe go watch somebody else <laughs> um, but if you do like it, don't forgive me, forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah, also, do you think I should go light on my hair? Okay, so I used to have light hair and my hair was getting really damaged with all the foils. I think I did it from the age of like 16 or 17 all the way into my 30s. And in the last couple of years, I've been going darker. I just want healthy, shiny hair. 
is that so much to ask honestly I just want shiny healthy hair so I put a mask in there when I can remember <laughs> I aim to do it once a week I don't wash my hair every day like I used to. I wash it like once every five to seven days. I know that sounds gross like once a week, but my hair's not really that dirty. I don't sweat a lot and I don't go out a lot and I don't put a lot of product in there. So I only wash it like once a week. And it is getting healthier and stronger. And um, I do like the color when it's shiny and styled nice, but I sometimes feel like one color all over is a bit boring. The only time I really, really love my hair is when I've done my makeup. <laughs> like now I've done my makeup and I love my hair. Like it could be shinier, but it is what it is. But yeah, if I have no makeup on and my, my face is dull, then I find that my hair is really dull too. So. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I'm bloody exhausted and my kids are out so I'm going to have a shower, wash my face and edit this video. So I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye!